Oh, thank you. Uh, it's, I'm, in fact, I'm very nervous since I see there are so many senior administrators here, and, uh, and I'm still a student. Now, my topic today is brief introduction to firewall team. Uh, yes, as you may, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm, I'm Samuel Sun, Chinese name Sun Zixian here. Uh, I know I am known as CSUN in the federal community uh, and in the FAS account. I'm a federal X-Base user and I have been an IC for two years. And uh, uh, I'm thinking for infrastructure related job in relation these days. Now, my, talk, uh, my topic will, relate, uh, will cover this issue. First, I will introduce the firewall D as a species by my opinion. And the second, I will com compare it with IP tables, which uh, is very well known for most of the pieces and uh, maybe for most of us are still using IP tables, especially the guys using certain operating system, maybe earlier than RHEL7 or Federal 16 or even older. And uh, then the basic usage of firewall D. And the last, I will introduce the firewall D rich language, which is a new feature to the firewall. Now, since it is my just my understanding, critical is easy welcome. Now, first, I will introduce firewall D and its basis. Firewall D was first introduced to Fedora 15 by Thomas Warner from Red Hat. Yes, since Red Hat guys usually introduce the first feature to Fedora, so we can use various of new applications such as Firewall D. As it became a default firewall in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, and of course I think it becomes a default firewall in Fedora for around Fedora's 18th, maybe, or even 17th, I'm not sure. And then it uses the bus to communicate with the kernel, and uh, he introduced a new feature called Zoons, which can be comparing with the, the default policy of IP tables. Uh, I'll say something about the Zoons. In order in the IP tables, I mean the older way of the firewall, we usually configure a default policy, such as we will drop all of the, we will drop all of the, Okay, let, let me continue. Um, just now I said uh, something about the zones of firewall D. So uh, comparing with, the, I think it should be comparing with the um, old uh, default policy for IP tables. In IP tables, we usually configure default policies such as we will drop all the com uh, um, data streams com com communicating to this server by default. And then we add every, uh, every bit of the configure, such as every uh, allow HTTP or uh, net flow into the server and something like that. But with the zones, I can configure, if you have different network, uh, if you have two or more network wired to your connection, such as I have two IP address, or I have two network cards here on the network attempters here on your server, you can configure each of the you, you can configure each of the IP with default zones, uh, di different zones. So it can be much more um, easier for you to con control different, uh, different connections, such as you will, maybe you use one of them for your internal network, and then you, will, you, you, you use another for your uh, internet. As next is the dynamic. And so then I will say something about the rich language and the lockdown. Okay, I'll then be comparing the IP uh, firewall D with IP tables. Uh, since I'm a user, so I didn't know much about the developing of the firewall D. And uh, in my opinion, uh, firewall D uses 
the bus to communicate with the kernel, and I checked that uh, IP tables uses Netlink to communi communicate with the kernel. And uh, see, we always say uh, firewall is a dynamic firewall, and so we so we mean by IP tables is a static firewall. So I just comparing this. In my opinion, as is that firewall on firewall D, we can, firewall D can be dynamically configured, and the firewall D tells the kernel how to change the rules, while IP tables just change the rules and then send the whole changes to the kernel, and that may break all the status information of in the kernel. So it's not even though you use IP tables. Mm, and then you are you, you using it to change uh, such as incoming connections and uh, something like that without restarting the service. But you you definitely you have already broke the status information in the kernel. And firewall can can change rules by services or applications. Imagine you are a system administrator and you have written some applications for your administration use, but you don't you do not want to. Once the, once the port to be open for a long time, you just use it for several seconds for your communication. And then you can use firewall D, you can use, you can use the bus to communicate to the kernel and ask the firewall D to open it for just the time you use. And then it will, after your exit, you can close the port by your application instead of manually configure it. Yes, and just I mentioned the default Zoom versus default, this default policy. Now here's some basic using of firewall. D. It's just mine, maybe just my usage, and it's very simple since there are ICDR so many senior administrators here. Yes, for the GUI for the graphic interface, we all know that there are firewall config for um, IP tables, and here's a uh, firewall. Sorry, I just so higher equals there. So you can use mm, system fire, config firewall for IP boards, and there is there uh, there is also a uh, uh, graphic user interface for firewall design is firewall config. You can use it and the old system config firewall, and since it's mm, very easy for user to mm, to configure your firewall, and I don't I I think I won't explain this much. And the second is the uh, uh, is a command line interface. Here I have some examples, and maybe mm, most of the time, if you are, mm, most of the time I use this mm, this kind of in, in command lines. Uh, we usually configure in the command line using firewall com command. This command icon and uh, some mm, options such as permanent and uh, or I will mm, change it and uh, and uh, uh, service such as HTTP. Uh, the man, mostly I can check the man, the manual for the for firewall command, and I will know most of the uh, most of the options there. Uh, there is a there is an option I I want to explain the at the moment that is a permanent. For most of the guys using IP tables, we have to configure something, and then I will run service IP tables save. Or something like that to several configures, uh, or you just edit the IP tables configures, then you can see real configure. But now in firewall, you do not need to manually edit some files or manually save it to the file. You just run firewall command and then permanent. And you can, uh, with this option, you can save your, it will be permanent and after you restart the system or after you restart the firewall, it won't lose your, uh, it won't lose. But um, this is permanent only. The runtime configure want to be changed. So if you want to change your runtime config, you should uh, omit the permanent option and then it will work. And the second is the uh, Zoom configure, such as I have uh, instant, uh, I have an IP configured um, at my home internet, uh, home use, such as imagine a situation that I'm using the laptop here in my office. I have an office IP that is. 10.1.2.3. That will be an office IP. And uh, then back at home, I have um, mm, some, some other IP as my home yours, such as 10.2.3.4. As I can configure different zones, and it will, uh, it will be added to the 
uh, to the zones and we, I can, I do not need to change so much rules during, after I moved my computer from my work to my home. This is the usage of zone, and you, I can add the option called zone, and uh, it equals to home, and then I can add port 80 to 89, and uh, it is a TCP port. And the last is a new feature as well. Since we don't not, we, we can't control the um, effective effective time for I mean for ITP boss, but now we can configure the the timeout for firewall D. Uh, just use an option called timeout equals ninety. So uh, after you configure the county uh, after you run this command for ninety seconds, this command will lose its effect. It, it will be inactive. That is means that I can only use this port for 90 seconds. And it's very useful, especially you are doing some tests and you just want to, do not want to forget to close some port. It will be useful. Yeah, I, I, heard, I have heard many guys saying that, well, IT was is, is rich and I can play, I can make complex configure for IT boss such as I'll make uh, some, some IP can, uh, can access uh, my computer, but some IP not. Uh, and uh, you don't see there, we can come, where, we can, where can we configure IP for firewall D? It's already in the rich language. And most, mostly I see on the um, social networks, most of the guys didn't use firewall D just because they do not know how to configure in the old way, such as I just allow one IP to connect to my um, home com uh, to my computer, and then you can use uh, CRTs, then you can use rich languages. Rich language is a high level feature and a high level language to have more complex firewall rules for IPv4 and IP version six without the knowledge of IP table syntax. Yes, it's just a, it's, you can just use it as a configure. And it can be configured using command line or using uh, using the graphic user interface, or just it is in the zoo file. In the command uh, in, on the command line, uh, command line you will see looks like some kind of IPK boss commands, such as I just use firewall command and uh, rules and my rule family. Uh, you can open this yeah, of course. And then I define my source address and uh, which is the source address of the connection. And uh, if you want to someone out of the com configure such as I just know uh, allow someone to con connect to my computer, I can use it in what is true. So the den destination address, uh, mostly I don't use this since I have zero IP already on my laptop. And of course it has, it has a con uh, option for in what uh, is true. And the element and the, you can make it log. And there is a limitation, limit value for the log. Um, most of the so most of the system administrators say that we have logs, but if we encounter encounter with some occasions, we will find that well, a lot of logs, and maybe one log per second, and it's hard for us to figure out what's happening. Since the log is still is keep flashing, and you can I we can come come down to find out well, what is a log just now. So you can use this log option, and uh, you just configure it as a limit value, and uh, such as one per minute, then it will occur only one log per minute. It's only one line, and then I can figure out what, what's happening on the, the, uh, the, the minute before, and then, of course, I will, it will be easier for us to figure out everything. Uh, I'll have a, I, I, I have an example for this firewall command and reach rules, and then I call it rule family IPv4 and source address with mm, this address and this uh, uh, CTAS address. And I t configure it as TFTP trivial file transport, since maybe I just use it for my internal PIT using, so it it should not be work outside of my house, so I do not need it. Need other servers come to connect to this. And then I log it as pref log, log it as uh, with the prefix TFTP. 
and it's the log the log level is enforced, so I can see mo much more messages for the for the, for the connections. And since there may be there may be many connections there, so I just limit the log value for one log per minute, and I accept this configure. If you uh, if I deny, it will be revoked, and uh, so that that means um, the or the, if this is denied, this 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 servers cannot come connect to me on TFTP server. And the mm, the soon configure files, uh, this is the sign that you do not need to know much about IP table rules or syntax, since it is just the XML file. You just configure it raw family and uh, send the source address and uh, something like the following the, the following one and I can uh, save it to the to the configure file and after you restart your firewall demo and it will be lo loaded into the kernel. Or you just use some kind of command line to load this configure file, it's okay. And here's my default mm, default connection uh, zone files for public. I just omit some lines since I have a pretty complex default zone, com default zone configuration on my computer. And since there is, the, the, this configure file is for public for the public zone, and this, this is a sort maybe we can call it a, a, a type. And then this is some description. This is just for your your sense. You can see, you can know what you done here, and you will know where should I, whether I should change this or I should change, change that, since it's just a description. And the service names I just use SSH and raw family, yes, I mentioned before it is IPv4. And my source address, and I just accept this configure for, from every connection from this server. And that's all of the firewall the rich language. Uh, the last feature I want to say is lockdown. It's just a brief introduction since I don't use it very much. A uh, lockdown feature is locking the firewall configuration so that it's not allowed by application. Uh, so that only a lot of application can change the configure files. Uh, imagine a situation since firewall D can be com can be configured dynamically by applications. If you don't have this feature, every every program has its priority to configure firewalls. So if there's something wrong, or uh, I mean, if there's someone put a, have already put, put a um, program on your servers or something like that, and you, it will change your um, firewall configuration dynamically, and uh, then, well, maybe you don't know that, but it will be dangerous for most of the servers. As uh, with the lockdown feature, we just lock the firewall configurations, and so we only allow the, the some application to request firewall changes, and we all, it will be much more safer for us to change this. And but it is turned off by default. So and uh, that is my most uh, that is most of my presentation here. And besides, as a, as a Chinese guy, I like to call for localization. Since most of the mm, documentation here for firewall D is uh, still in English, you can refer to these this pages. I have been helping with the firewall D wiki for, for some time, but uh, unfortunately, uh, there's so much thing needs to be translated that uh, our guys are not enough. So if you are willing to help, you can join us on the wiki. You even do not e uh, need an FBS account. You just need to edit it and the, and the wiki rules, and uh, then you save it. And then it will be, be, in, the, be in your change, and your changes will take effect immediately. And there are pictures, the wikis and references here, maybe and for localizations. Oh, uh, yeah, the rich firewall the rich language has its own wiki and uh, of course the lockdown page. Any questions? Uh, uh, I have a simple question.
question that uh, so in our case you showed the basic usage for the firewall D is uh, the command line and uh, you know, the uh, dash dash prominence is the way. So I, I'm curious if it's possible to uh, set the prominent rule and the temporal rule uh, with just one command. Uh, if you want to and the single question is uh, about the TCP ports. Uh, so can we mm, best can we specify the rule for both TCP and UDP ports? Uh, for the same port range uh, uh, with one command. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, in my opinion, and uh, I just referring to the manual, and I think it's, mm, uh, we can only configure this mm, disparate, mm, disparate separately, and uh, there's no way to configure it uh, at one time, such as, I mean, we can configure permanence and uh, uh, using all this using this, and then you just want to make it effect right now. You just need to omit this and run it again. Uh, but um, since I'm the developer, I'm not the developer, and uh, maybe we can take a, a feature request for the developers, and they maybe work some time later. Uh, I'll, I'll this just created a simple alias. Oh, yes, maybe simple allies, maybe. Uh, I think a uh, feature request maybe is okay, I think. Uh, I, think I, I think this may be easier since, since firewall is written in Python, so I think it's easy to charge instead of something written in Perl or other things. Any other questions? If you have a question, please raise your hand, and we'll give you a book as a present. All right, if there's no more question, then 30 minutes break. Thank you.